Hey guys, good morning, and get ready with me to go to school. Okay, I already did two steps, but I forgot to record, but I just used the Frilly and Self Glow Highlighting Drops, and this is what made my skin so glowy. But I'm so excited that this is the last week before break, because I've been needing a break, like a long break, because school is so exhausting. Everything's just getting on my nerves this morning, like my hair wasn't turning out good, and then my freaking cat is like being crazy. Okay, I'm gonna try Isa's hack of putting blush in her concealer to make it look more natural and see if it works, but mine's a little too dark, so I'm gonna mix it with like another blush. This blush has been with me since 2019. Is it like good? Like, is it okay that I'm using this? I basically just made a pink concealer, so now I'm gonna make it like lighter. Okay, I think that worked. I don't really know, but let's try it. So far, it looks really good. I'm actually really liking it, but I have to start hurrying up because it's already 7 and I get out of my house at 7.30 and I haven't eaten breakfast or anything. Okay, so I can't really tell if that made a difference or not. Like, I don't really have time to fix it, so it just... It's literally so cold in Florida, but at the same time, like, I love it. But also, at the same time, I miss summer and I want to be tanning in. So if you guys can't tell, I literally self tanned yesterday because I literally hate being pale. Like, that's, like, my biggest pet peeve is looking pale and, like like i'm dying basically i literally just hate school like i've been so stressed out about it basically over nothing because breaks gonna be like less than a week anyway but like it's just a stress like i just hate stressing out about my work and like i'm not really that behind on anything i just need to like catch up on a few things but it's just super annoying like it's really draining um, i'm just exhausted and like i just i just can't wait for this break like i'm really needing it Bro, I just hate when I get acne on, like, the weirdest spots, like, with the F. Like, I look like I have a third eye or something. And I can't really cover it up with makeup because it's, like, scar. It's so annoying. Like, I actually hate acne. And I hate hormones. I'll show you guys. I also did my nails. And I think they're so cute. I love the red. It's just very festive. And it just reminds me that Christmas is coming soon. Okay, I just finished doing my mascara. So, I think I'm all ready. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have a great day. school with me so today's friday i don't know if it'll still be friday when i post this but yesterday and wednesday we had a strike but i didn't get one day off because i had to come in on wednesday because we had to do this like business thing my teacher was like oh my god this is a really good opportunity it was so boring i literally did business for six hours straight oh my gosh i just remembered um so i hit like a hundred thousand followers the other day and look what tiktok said Oh my gosh, I thought these only happened on YouTube. I've never seen anyone talk about this. And it's like, this is like presented to at Yasmin Types for passing 100,000 followers. Oh my gosh, I, I, I got this in mail. And I opened it. Oh my gosh, it's literally like, what's it called? Like a plaque from TikTok. That's, oh, that's crazy. I'm so, I'm so, so happy. In December, I had like 20,000 followers. And in December, I went to Italy and my grandma was like talking about, oh, what's your New Year's resolution? And I was like, I want to hit 100,000 followers on TikTok. And guess what? It's March and I've already done it. That's just crazy and I love it. Oh my God, I love you all so much. My mascara is kind of out. So I'm going to buy more on eBay. And trust me, buy these on eBay. Um, Just make sure it's like genuine. But I don't know why anyone would rip people for mascara. But anyway, buy this on eBay and it's like literally half price. I've got these both for £6. But I normally get them for £12 each on the shop, like from Tesco's. And they come really quick. They come in like two days. Anyway, so today I posted a selfie on my story on my Instagram. And it was so scary posting it because I had no makeup in it. It was the first picture I've ever posted on Instagram with no makeup on. And like, I don't know why I care so much because I literally show myself no makeup on here all the time like you guys see me at my worst but on instagram people judge it's just so scary and i posted it like, kind of like late at night so today like i kind of had a panic attack when i remembered i might put it on my highlights but i'm just scared you know because i've never done that it's because like everyone in my school is on instagram i wish my eyebrows look so bad should i just like stop doing my eyebrows because i always feel like they look better without them done maybe i'm just not do good at doing them i actually ordered the h b cosmetics concealer when it comes i'm going to probably make a video and try it out for the first time oh my god this concealer from she glam i literally use it to cover my spots rather than the elf fit me concealers because this is so full coverage i really do like it but the only thing with this is that it creases quite a lot easier so that's why i only put on my spots i also use this she glam blush in the shade love cake it's so so good it blends out really really nicely oh my god i love to do this when i'm blending out my highlighter on my cheekbones i think it blends out nicely okay my makeup is done and i've been using this perfume it's really really good it's really strong so i have to barely like use any 
and it lasts really long it smells really really nice i'll link it in my video but anyways i'm ready now so i love you all so much have a good day bye hey guys get ready with me to go christmas is in 13 days i'm so excited i'm debating what i do with my hair because i have no idea how to like curl it and stuff this is just because i slept in a bonnet so it's just like done that to itself naturally and i want the top to be all, like silky press but i also want these little cute little curls i don't know because this is one of the last days i'm gonna have it straight until like next year so <laughs> and these bits are all like frizzy so i just started these bits out with a straightener let's do this little bit okay i'm gonna do my skincare but guys i'm so freaking excited about this giveaway like i've ordered everything or just so many things and today me and jack are going to travel center to take my jeans back because the jeans that i bought they literally ride up my ankles like my legs are just too long for them and it made me really upset but it's fine amelia was telling me about her problem with them and she has to get jeans to get jeans from the river island long section so i might have to do that as well because when i say they were riding up they weren't even riding up my ankles they were riding up my freaking shins like and i'm not used to being like not the smallest size and everything anymore because i used to be really skinny really slim and i used to literally be like the smallest size in anything or sometimes like the smallest size didn't fit me but now i've gone like chunky so i obviously bought the smallest size yeah it didn't even fit like my waist and i was so surprised and obviously i was so excited as well but like whoa big changes anyways guys today i'm literally gonna get ready now and then i'm gonna make my way to starbucks and i'm just gonna do all of my college work in starbucks with a couple of drinks maybe that's a bad idea because i will end up spending about 15 pounds on freaking drinks in starbucks but it's fine i really want to buy starbucks syrup so i can have them at home but you know i don't think they do them so it's sad I've got quite a little bit of work to do today. I've got some biology um, exam questions to do. And then I've also, guys, I'm also going to put some tanning um, thing on my face. Tanning serum. serum. But yeah, I do have quite a little bit to do. I've got some of them to do. I've also got a little bit of course to do. And I kind of forgot about it. So I do kind of need to do that. But I'll just do that like tonight or tomorrow. And then I've also got a bit of criminology to do. But the criminology is really confusing. So I literally have no idea what it is that I'm actually supposed to do. But I'm just going to try. Like I, I know what, what it is but I don't really know what it is. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to have to figure that one out. And then yeah. Okay, okay I'm going to have to wash my hands after this. Because every time I use this tanning oil. My fingers always end up really tanned. And it's just not good. And my face never ends up that tanned as much as on my fingers so i'm gonna add a bit more on see if it does anything it actually smells disgusting i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna give my bioma spf moisturizer another chance because i feel like i've been being a bit harsh on it but i'm not joking it literally like look at my face now i'm rubbing it nothing comes off into my fingers but then as soon as i use this and i rub my face some random stuff comes off off and it's really confusing me so i'm gonna see if it's actually this because i've changed up my skincare routine today so maybe so it reacts for another product i don't know okay. she's like dry for a minute okay so i just washed my hands let's see if it's this that does it okay <laughs> you can do it i might be wrong we'll try it again throughout the day and see what happens but take these little clips out see what my hair's looking like okay it looks frizzy and wavy but i'm kind of liking it bye guys bro it's like 70 degrees and i'm so cold i literally always use the frilling splush to blend my concealer so it actually blends into my red skin okay anyway guys this is the hoodie that i'm dropping with my friend we had a photo shoot and i posted some of my favorite ones on my instagram yesterday it's so cute we're dropping them on saturday december 16th i'm so excited oh my god can we talk about the new snapchat update because why the fuck can they see when i have swipe i don't think anyone understands the patience it takes in me to not have swipe and to wait to see what they said one thing is waiting to answer you already know what they said so that's not that hard but like waiting to see what they said bro fuck i don't know whenever i don't want someone in my recents i just snap a bunch of other people back but they go down anyway this hoodie's so fucking comfortable like look at the look how soft it looks like, look at my skin right there like you can see it's all like weird yesterday i was with my friend and i was telling her like i need a man that talks a lot i don't shut the fuck up and then I feel really annoying if they don't talk, if they're, like, quiet. I need someone to match that, like, non-stop, like, conversation. That's why I love making Get Ready With Me. It's like, I can just talk and talk about whatever I want. And who's gonna stop me? My phone? Like, what? My mom just walked in and started complaining about how much dirty laundry I have. She's like, 
It's only been like four days. How do you have that much dirty laundry? Girl, it was the weekend. Like, do you know how much I changed during the weekend? Okay, I'm done. By the way, guys, the hoodie's gonna be 50. And I'll put the website and everything where you can get it like later on this week. I'm so excited. Okay, bye guys. Hey guys, get ready with me. Okay, so yesterday I wore like a short sleeve top in like 30 degree weather. I didn't know it was gonna be 30 yesterday. So that was a fun way of finding out. I feel like the weather is so random because on Saturday it was like 78 and stuff and like now it's 39. Like how does that freaking work? Yesterday I fell asleep at 7.30 which is so weird. I've been going to bed at 7.30. I honestly don't know why either. My body just like falls asleep at that time. So I basically got around like 9 hours of sleep which means I'm doing like good right now. That's why I'm in such a good mood this morning. Alright, lashes are done today i have a freaking spanish uh what is it final again except this time i have to oh shoot i just put the i can't believe i almost set my face with blush but okay anyways does anyone else like hate waking up cold because don't get me wrong i love sleeping in the cold but waking up is probably the most hardest freaking thing to do ever like, I physically cannot get out of my bed if it's cold. Like, it's impossible. Anyways, that happened this morning where it was, like, flipping freezing in my room. I seriously need to get a new highlighter. I'm sick of, like, using the chunks out of my Rare Beauty one. Alright, guys. Bye. I just went down a deep, like, loophole of girls from my school's, like, side accounts. And I just found out that they're not who I thought they were. Honestly, it kind of makes me happy because I used to compare myself to them all the time like they're gorgeous girls And so I'd just be so like why am I not like them, but now I Feel like I am To be honest, I really like how the benetton looked on me last time. So I can use it again Today I have child development and I don't know when we're gonna go to the elementary school to meet the kids But I kind of hope it's not today because I don't have energy for that. I really want to get silver jewelry like the same earrings I have and everything, but just silver. Because I just want to see how I look in silver. I literally hate when my lashes don't look even, but like nobody's really looking that much. I'm just gonna put some blistex on and then some setting spray. I feel like I keep wearing the same hoodies like over and over again, but I just have like six of the best hoodies. Um, so I ordered more. Duh. Okay, have a great day. I love you so much. Bye. Hi guys, get ready with me while I tell you how I met my boyfriend. I feel like this video is so long overdue because we've been dating for almost two and a half years now it definitely might be more than that but i'm really bad at counting and i don't feel like counting right now but our three years is next july so i don't know where that puts us but i'm just gonna leave it at almost two and a half years so freshman year it was covid and so we were just making all of our friends in the dorms because we couldn't really go anywhere else so me and my roommate aspen would invite people over every night in the dorm group chat there was like this big dorm group chat and we would just be like hey everyone come over to our place and let's hang out so one day this kid walks in and i'm like wait you look really familiar do i know you and it turns out this kid was from my hometown and actually dated one of the girls i was friends with from my high school we end up talking for the rest of the night and we become friends and that was the end of that night but then the next night he invited us up to his dorm i don't know if i told you this but our dorms were like segregated by gender so we were on the girls floor and the floor above us was the boys floor so then we meet these two other guys when we go up there and i recognize them because i went to middle school with them and they're apparently all from my hometown we start talking and we're hanging out and then i'm like wait where is your roommate because these two other other guys that were there were not his roommate they lived across the hall so then for the next couple of weeks we continue hanging out with these three guys and we still have not met this kid's roommate every time we would hang out we'd be like who's your roommate who's your roommate and we never met him then the next time we go over there there's a guy sitting on the other bed and i go up to him because i'm a professional yapper like if somebody's there i'm gonna talk to them so i go up to him and i'm like hey like what's your name what's your major like let's be friends not in a weird way like at all like i was literally just asking him to be friends and he was like i can't like i have a girlfriend i was like okay and that was the end of that also mind you this whole time i literally still had a crush on a boy from home that i was hanging out with over the summer i feel like that's just like every girl's canon event so i wasn't like looking to hook up with other guys just because like i was just like butthurt over this like for some I don't know, God knows why. Then first semester is just going by, like we're just hanging out with the group that we had formed. 
this kid like breaks up with his girlfriend and it's almost close to winter break at this point this is the timeline after that breakup happened he told his roommate and then we start hanging out with this kid for a little bit we get to know him his name's chris and the semester ends so we all go home for winter break we come back for spring semester and everyone's like so excited to get back out there like we go downtown and then this one night i drank a little bit too much and i was not feeling well and i just really wanted to go home but nobody was ready to go home yet and this man offers to walk me home when we got back like he got me water and like everything else i needed to be okay like anything you would do for a drunk person and we just sat there and we talked for the longest time after that we start hanging out more and you know what i mean by hanging out more we start hanging out more so this just keeps going on and on whatever bumps in the road you know how it is it was a situation shit and then one day i'm sitting in my bed with one of my really good girlfriends at the time who was also really good friends with him at the time he calls her and he's like i really like this girl talking about me and i was like i kind of knew that was coming but like, you know and then I knew that piece of information, but I just kept it in the back of my mind. And a few weeks later, my friends from home visited and we all went downtown together. And we all ended up staying up really late that night. And then he told me that he liked me. The rest, honestly, just history. And here we are now. It's just so crazy to me how like, because of this kid that I barely knew from my hometown, like I met the person that I'm probably gonna spend the rest of my life with. And honestly, if this teaches you anything, let it be that there's nothing wrong with being a professional yapper. Talk to literally everyone you know. Anyways, that's it for today. I'm glad we had this conversation because I feel like I should have shared this by now since I overshare so much on here. Okay, love you. Bye. Hi guys, are you me except I literally leave in 10 minutes. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, it's 7.05, 7.10 and I leave for my bus at 7.15. Wait, I just missed something. It's 7.10 and I leave for my bus at 7.20. And the sweater was like so cute in my head. I was so excited to wear it, but I like feel so weird in it. All right, time to check at 7.12 and I wasn't gonna wear like a lot of makeup because the whole tiny thing, but I feel so ugly. So, you know, we have to put on mascara. I'm actually just like so tired right now. Like I cannot do this. I don't understand. And it's like it's two full weeks in the winter break, so the weeks are going by like so insanely slow because like I'm just waiting for break and the weekends are going by so fast and it's just it's the worst. Like I love this time of year because it's like, Christmas, but at the same time I hate this time of year because I feel like it's the most like stressful and draining time of year schoolwork wise and also like literally just in general and like it's just so much. Alright, I'm ready and I'm not I don't wanna go. And I slept on my hair weird, so there's like a weird kink. But it's gonna go away soon. And yeah, my bus comes here in five minutes, so we need to go. Get ready with me for school. I don't wanna go. <laughs> school has been so stressful for me. With it being my senior year, I've been on overload. Like I wasn't prepared for all of like the stress that comes with being a senior. I was having a lot of trouble with my college applications. Like I didn't even know where to start. So I found a website, it's called Mocha, and it's actually been helping me a lot. It's cool because it helps students like me who are struggling with um, doing college applications. This website has advisors to help you with college applications. I also forgot to mention that some of the advisors are ex-admissions from top universities like Harvard and so on. They can help you with test prep, scholarship, so this website can help take a lot of stress off. Okay, so when you make an account, this is what you'll see when you press the home screen. And once you scroll down, you're going to see the services that they offer. So as you can see, they do a lot, which is really nice. And you can match with an advisor right there at the bottom. But once you do that, they're just going to ask you some questions like what you need help with. And in my case, I pressed the first one. And then they ask you, what are you applying to? And when do you need the mentorship, your budget? And then you just provide more information about yourself. So once you submit it, you should see that the request was successfully sent. And then they literally get back to you so fast. It's really nice. And right now they're having a Christmas sale where you could save up to 20%. This is like a perfect opportunity because you can get an advisor for as little as $27. So I definitely recommend it if you're a little bit of a lost high school student like me. Because I have been stressing lately. <laughs> So definitely check out mocha.com and take advantage of their sale right now before January 8th. Hang on, my cat's meowing at the door. Leo! Here, baby! Hi! Meow. Okay, go on. You don't like that. So the lashes are like really lashing today. I don't know what it is. Anyways, this is the makeup look for the day. Now I'm going in with my Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume. This is the best smell ever. For my rings, I got my Pura Vida ring on, my Elevated Faith Cross ring, other Pura Vida ring on, and then I'm gonna go in with my Timex watch from Amazon. 
This is the cutest, daintiest watch. I love it. And for earrings, I have my Gorgiana gold hoops in with my diamond earrings that my mom bought me. Then my Gorgiana H necklace. This is the look, and now I'm gonna go get dressed, and I hope you guys have a great day.